Hey, what's up guys and welcome to our first episode of Supportive Sunday. So you've probably upgraded your computer or notebook to Windows 10. Maybe you will love it, maybe you will hate it. I'm personally not a huge fan of Windows 10 anyway. It's the fastest Windows in the benchmarks, but sometimes it can cause problems with older machines because sometimes drivers don't get updated if you have some special kinds of Wi-Fi drivers in there or anything else. So um, today I want to show you how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 7 or Windows 8. And yeah, a friend to me came with this notebook and he literally said he wants to smash it, but I said no, you can definitely downgrade from Windows 10 and it's possible, but um, yeah, you have to do some things before you do it. First of all, back up all your stuff. This is really the most important thing ever. So maybe you will have to reinstall your system and this is why you should back up your data on a USB drive or anything else. I'm using here, for instance, um, the SanDisk wireless stick has a huge capacity and you can also access that over Wi-Fi. Pretty cool, you'll find a link down below. Anyway, maybe you will need an empty CD to burn Windows 7 or you will need the installation disk which came with your computer, so Windows 7, Windows 8, or just um, the CD which yeah came with your rig. So I would say, let's get directly started. Let's jump into Windows and let me show you the options you have to downgrade Windows 10. All right guys, so if you have frequently upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows 8 to Windows 7, that's a simple way to downgrade and you can keep all your files. Now first of all you should check if you have the windows.all folder on your main hard drive. So first of all you navigate to this PC, you can do it here um, from the taskbar actually, if you go here to file explorer and then you should see here this PC. And there you will find for instance your local hard drive, it's here the C drive and this should be your windows um, hard drive. Here you go to um, the root folder and there you should see actually windows.old. If you can see that, so if you have upgraded, then it's okay. Then you can use the method I will show you right now. If you can't see it, so actually I've just created this folder because I have not upgraded. This was actually installed from a Windows 10 CD. And yeah, if you don't see this folder, then yeah, you have to do the second method, which actually, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult and you will lose all your files, okay? So if you have that folder, you can go here to start here you go to settings which will take you to the control panel so the new one and here you actually go to update and security then you will find here recovery and here you can see two options right now if you have the windows.old folder you will see three options free um, reset this pc advanced startup so if you reset this pc it will just reset to windows 10 and it will just um, remove some things this is not what we want to do also we don't want to go in the advanced startup you actually should see here go back to windows 8.1 if you have upgraded from windows 8 or you should actually um, have go back to windows 7 if you upgraded from windows 7 really depends if you have upgraded or not and if you have the windows.old folder and i'm not really sure but um, i think after a month or something like that um, the, the windows.old folder will get deleted and you can't go back to windows 10 anymore also you have to leave something like a feedback to microsoft why you want to go back so if you have that just click at it leave a feedback like windows 10 absolutely sucks and then you can go back Alright, so I can't do this on this PC here, so um, I will quickly show you the other PC. It's also installed from ACD and that's why we have to actually use our installation disk, which you can have on a USB drive or on a, yeah, a normal disk. And um, if you want to see how to install Windows 7 on a USB drive, so a bootable USB drive to install it to your hard drive, then check out the next video because in this video I'll just cover the process on how to reinstall it. And now let me show you how to do that. Now before we go over to the other notebook, let me give you some tips on how to get an ISO file which you can burn to an empty CD or which you can download to a USB drive. So for instance if you have um, some kind of ultrabook which has no optical drive. You'll find an official Microsoft link down below in the description, so check it out, guys. And um, please don't share piracy links about Windows 10 copies or something or Windows 7 copies down below in the description. So I do not support piracy and everything will be removed. All right, guys, so there you'll find Windows 10, Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. Now, in order to download an ISO, you have to put in here the product key. So, for instance, if you have bought a notebook with an OEM license, you will find probably a sticker under your notebook, so just flip it around and there you can see um, the product key which you can put in here and then you can download the ISO of Windows 7. Now, um, there's also a pretty cool tool, it's called the Windows USB tool or something like that, I think you can download it here or um, I will leave a link down below in the description to this tool and this is pretty cool, you just um, 
uh, yeah, put in the path to the ISO and the USB drive, it will format it, and then you have a bootable USB drive, which you can also use. But in this tutorial, I will show you that with my yeah, empty CD. I've downloaded the Windows 7 ISO. By the way, um, if you're a student, um, universities also have student licenses, so I just um, paid 10 euros for my Windows license, which is absolutely worth it. So make sure you check that out too. Okay, that's it. Now, if you have a Windows 7 ISO file, now let's go and have a closer look at the notebook. All right, guys, now I'll show you the second way on how to get rid of Windows 10 and reinstall Windows from the scratch. Now, reinstalling means we have to format the hard drive. Formatting the hard drive means we have to wipe the hard drive. That means your data is lost. So before you continue here, make sure you do a backup of all your important files, like everything you have on the desktop, everything you have in documents, downloads. So those are usually the most important files. Put them on a USB drive and then you should be safe. So all the programs have to be reinstalled. So if you have bought some programs and you rely on the license of key or something like that, make sure you note that down to all your keywords and everything if it's saved. And then you should actually be able to do that. So this will completely uninstall Windows 10 and we're able to now reinstall Windows 7 from the scratch. Okay, so we're now here in the BIOS. This is really important, I want to show you that. Um, here we have to actually um, tell the computer that it should start up from the CD drive. And in order to get to that thing here, you have to first of all power down your computer and then you have to reboot it. So this is what I will do right now. So save changes, okay. And so it's now like you would boot up your computer and here you can see press F2 to enter setup. It depends on your machine. Sometimes you have to hit the um, delete key, F10 key or anything like that. So make sure you read what's on the boot screen. Then you will be in the BIOS. So this is an older computer and it has only an, yeah, this kind of graphical BIOS with only text. New computers, they also have, for instance, a BIOS which has yeah, a mouse cursor and pictures, music, whatever. And this one here is very basic, but it works like this. You have um, the arrow keys on your keyboard and you can navigate here through the menu. What we want to do, we want to go over to the boot tab, which you can see right over here, and they will see the boot priority order. For instance, um, on your notebook or computer, it will probably look like this, like um, there's the hard drive. So we have here, for instance, the uh, HDD, which is here at the bottom. So let's get it up. So this should be priority one. That means computers booting up from the hard drive. That means it will load up Windows, which is installed on your hard drive. We don't want to do that. We want to boot from the USB drive, which you have used with the tool, or we want to boot up from the CD. So what we have to do right now is yeah, change the priority. What you can see here, if you look down, so there's a bar which tells us F5, F6 is change values. Now we have to search for our yeah, um, CD drive or DVD drive, and there we can see it. So mod, C, shot, whatever, RAM, DVD, RAM, that's our Chinese, Japanese DVD drive, and we want to get this to priority one. What we're going to do is we press the F6 button until it's here at the top, and that means um, it will first of all check is there a CD inside before it will start to boot up from yeah from the hard drive. All right, so now we have to save that. So if you can move your mouse cursor, just find anywhere the exit, or just go with the arrow keys to the exit, and there we go. Um, you can see exit saving changes. This is what we'll do right now, and then it will boot up from the CD. Before you do that, make sure you put in your CD drive or your connector USB drive, depends on whatever you want to boot from. And then we can actually hit the enter button, saving changes. Now the computer, so the machine will reboot and it will search first of all, is there a bootable media connected to your computer, which should right now be um, the, the um, DVD. So now the notebook will reboot or your computer, whatever you have, and just wait a little bit. Then you will hear actually the drive spinning up, reading the disk. And there will be a little sentence in the left top corner which tells you press any key to boot from the CD. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So just wait for this um, sentence here to pop up. Now you just hit the enter button or any button on your keyboard. And then it should boot into the Windows installation. All right, so I just choose here the Windows setup. And there we go. It will now load up the files. So as you can see, it will just um, yeah, put them into a temporary folder somewhere in the memory. And there we go. So this takes a little bit of time, just grab a coffee, sit down and enjoy, and I will do a little cut here. Well guys, so um, the copying process is finished, we are now here in the Windows installation screen, and there you can see um, language to install, so currently I'm only using here the English version, United States, blah blah blah, and somewhere here, was actually right now my face cam, this should be the next button. And there you can go to install now, so this is what we'll do right now. And you will see setup is starting. So this can also take a little bit of time, so we'll probably do another cut here. 
So after some time you will see the Microsoft software license terms and yeah, just scroll down, read all that or not and then you go to I accept the license terms and hit the next button. We have now here upgrade or custom advanced installation. Upgrade won't work because we're coming from a higher version of Windows so you can actually just um, click it but um, trust me guys this won't work. You can go here to custom or advanced and now we have to take care of our hard drives of all the partitions. So um, here in my case we have three petitions, so we have here some OEM reserve petition for restoring things. We have here some system reserve petition, so this is actually um, yeah, which, uh, a small petition which Windows creates. It's always around 100 megabytes, or exactly 100 megabytes, and this is used by the system for some caching, I guess. And here we have um, the big petition, so actually the main petition where all the data is on, and this is the last one. So what you want to do is you want to install it in one of the partitions and in order to do that um, you now first of all need to wipe it because otherwise it will be a mess. So you will have then to choose Windows 7, Windows 10 at boot up or maybe it won't even work. So um, what we are going to do is we delete the partition. So just once again to clarify. This wipes your hard drive, all your data, make sure you have a backup, not responsible if you lose any of your things. So just go here to delete. OK button, and now the petition is gone. So now all the things which are on your hard drive are wiped. All right, so we can go here now to delete the next petition. So it's the 100 megabyte system petition, which will be created again anyways. And here we have the OEM reserve petition, which I don't need in this case. And I will um, also delete that one here. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going here to new petition, OK? So um, this will create a brand new petition in the unallocated space. And here make sure that you really choose all of the space. You don't want two petitions or maybe if you want to, it really depends on what you like. So you can also create two petitions. If you um, give, if you put in here another size, then you will have actually two hard drives. But if I take here the full size, go to apply, um, go here to OK, then I will actually see after um, yeah, that process is done, one petition with the maximum space and this 100 megabyte system reserved swap petition or anything like that. Okay, so now we choose here the main petition. This is where we want to install Windows in and we go here to the OK or Next button which is yeah, covered by my face. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so now um, everything is done automatically by Windows, so by the installer and it takes a lot of time. So yeah, it's now expanding the Windows files can really take a lot of time on all the machines, especially in this crappy notebook, but um, let's just wait, let's grab a coffee and I'll do a quick cut here. All right guys, after some time it should look actually like this, you will see here a screen, Windows 7 Professional or whatever you have downgraded to, um, type a username, um, for instance this account is for a friend called Freddy, like Freddy Nightmare, how's the thing called, um, let's go here to next and there we go. Freddy PC type of password, well, um, recommended, but you don't need to. Anyway, I don't want to give him a password right now, so I'll just leave this empty. Product key won't enter this one here, otherwise um, it will, will be on YouTube. So um, you can also do this later. A actually, you have a couple of days grace period until we'll ask you for the product key. Okay, then you go here to next, and there we go. Use recommended settings for Windows updates. That's what I use, but you can also turn it off if you want to. Here, date and time, so make sure you adjust it, and then you will get Windows 7 Professional finalizing your settings. So now just wait a little bit, and then you will get to the last step. Uh, all right, so Windows 7 finished installing. This is um, how it should look like. So you're now here in Windows, and yeah, um, no programs installed, no drivers, so just here, um, vanilla Windows, if I can say it like that. Um, if you go here to your computer, as you can see, the hard drive is empty right now. There are no files anymore, so everything is gone. You can just, um, yeah, put in your USB drive and copy your files back on the computer, so your backup, which you should have done. Then also you can see um, not connected, so for instance, Wi-Fi is not working at all. The touchpad on the notebook here is not working at all. So you have to install now all the drivers. Windows 7 has some drivers integrated, Windows 8 a little bit more, and Windows 10, but um, that means now you have to visit the website of your manufacturer, so you have to do it from another computer, or probably you have an installation disk which came with your computer where you can find all the drivers, but you have to install all that, because most of the things probably won't work. Usually there's also no graphics driver, so it depends if you have AMD, NVIDIA, just visit the website, download all that crap, and be happy again. 
All right, so this was a quick tutorial how to downgrade if possible. So if it's not possible, you have to install Windows from the scratch. I'm sorry for that. I've just shown you how to do that. Pretty easy, straightforward. And yeah, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to um, make bootable things, how to boot Windows from a USB drive, backtrack, Linux, all that. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to don't miss any future tutorials. Thanks for watching. And if this video was helpful, please leave a like. Bye-bye.